Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Today starts a little bit of an adventure here in California. We're going to be jumping on board the Jaguar F-Type V6S, the Shmi mobile as it were for the USA, the car I've been driving out here and having a lot of fun with. 380 horsepower, one of the best sounding exhausts you would ever imagine, and it looks awesome in the bright orange. We're going for this drive up towards San Francisco, basically, but today we're going to start going up the Pacific Coast Highway from here in Malibu. Um, PCH takes us all the way along the coast up some amazing roads up towards Monterey because tomorrow we're going to be visiting the Land Rover Range Rover Experience Center there which will be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to getting the car out on some good roads though. LA uh, is a pretty busy place to be. Uh, in here naturally radar detector cameras set up already to help shoot this video <laughs> beeping away at me as I open the door. Snacks ready for the road but uh should be a good day. We've got a long drive today, 400 or so miles up the roads, and um, they're going to be, I think, pretty good. I've scoped out the route on Google Maps, so I'll be keeping an eye on that on the phone on the way up. I'm going to be joined for the drive by Mishmi, who's standing over here. He's going to be jumping in the car, Hello. coffee in hand, but uh, I think it's pretty much time to get in the car and get on our way. In the car then and on the way out of Malibu. Unfortunately today the weather is not quite what we hoped it would be. It's a little bit grey which is quite rare here in LA. Um, I'm not often around to see it. but uh, It'll burn off. It'll burn off. Hopefully. Um, we're forecast for some interesting weather on this little trip. I'm hoping it's not going to rain too badly when we're in San Francisco but we've got our coats which we brought to Los Angeles just in case. You have. I have not. Oh okay. <laughs> anyway we're uh Gonna hit PCH and get on the way. This car sounds really cool. Tesla. Oh no! I thought I saw that and then I didn't. <laughs> okay, I think that needs more explanation. Okay, so we've decided that when we're in LA, um, see quite a few Teslas so Tim and I have this game where we hit each other well we don't really hit each other but we count if we spot a Tesla first so currently on this trip I've got five you've got six now or seven no it's seven six seven, seven six. six and when so we're bit... in London we play it with Range Rovers and most people play it with yellow minis yeah yeah true we've adapted well, then I guess it depends where in the world you are that might be a game that is totally alien to everyone else but uh, it's a little bit of fun just to spot them and the Tesla really is the car out here um, it kind um, of works, the infrastructure's all here and everything's in place. And, and it's go. a sexy looking car. Model S with a uh, Ghibli alongside it, Maserati. But uh, yeah, you see a lot of them. As you can tell, we've only come from our home to Malibu, which is only a 15, 20 minute drive, and we've already counted 13. So they are everywhere. And it passes the time on a road trip. 50 miles into the drive and we're on one of the very few bits of freeway we're going to do, I think the, uh, the 101, um, just as we go through this town, which is Oxnard, the like, next place you get to from Malibu. But from here, we're going to head inland slightly and go up over some windy, twisty bits before we go back and sort of loops back round towards the coast and uh, in the Pismo Beach sort of area. And then we head up uh, Route 1, up PCH. And um, so far, it's all good, all comfortable. Yeah, and the Tesla update is Tim's on eight, I'm on seven. Ten, no, 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 ten, seven. Oh, oh, I really I'm am losing. Those. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> I think the further we get from LA, there are probably going to be vastly fewer Teslas because you can't just uh, get the mileage on and everybody in, um, in LA uses them to commute, I guess. So that's why we see them saw so many early in the morning. Uh, so far, so good. First little stop point because the views here are absolutely breathtaking. Mishmi, who by the way is my girlfriend if you weren't, if you hadn't already realised, is taking some pictures because uh, sun's peeking through, a little bit less clouds, the roof's down on the F-type and the drive on this road is really quite cool. Um, 
yeah, not a bad view, hey? Uh, this is the 33, first part of our drive today, so um, on the way back I'm actually going to do a little bit more in-depth sort of review of the F-Type V6, how it compares, but my initial impressions are this car drives these kind of roads absolutely brilliantly. <laughs> about halfway into the drive then, four hours on the road so far and we've just pulled in at Santa Maria for our first fill up. This is where we sort of rejoined back at the coast. The thing I love about the USA is how cheap the fuel is here. So a full tank in the Jaguar F-Type V6 is about $50, which is about 30 pounds, which is about a third of what I put in the McLaren, if not, uh, no, about that. So uh, that's quite a nice way to, uh, to get the fuel. So we've got fueled the car, got some refreshments for ourselves. We're going to pull in for lunch about halfway between uh, here and the end. So it's about three more hours up to Monterey, four or five if we stop. I've heard word though that there's some pretty cool stuff going on at Laguna Seca, so I might have time to swing by and check out what's going on there, but let's see what happens. Anyway, get back on the road. We've got a little bit of highway now, then we'll pull back off and we've got the PCH, the coastal roads. Very nice. famous Laguna Seca Mazda Raceway, where over there are a whole lineup of AMG GTs and GTSs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, what, nine, 10, 11, maybe 12 of them. It's pretty cool to see. Unfortunately, closed paddock, but uh, hopefully, or well, maybe we'll get to see a car going around. If not, we'll be jumping back in the Jag and heading on the way to our hotel, but it's still kind of cool to know that they're all over there doing whatever they're doing, customers, maybe press test drives, I don't know.
how's that for timing then? Got here and the cars were rolling out. Managed to see quite a lot of them and uh, well by coincidence we were heading then in the direction back towards our hotel and all of the cars just appeared out of nowhere so it would be rude to stop and not take a look. Anyway, been here for a bit now, lights dropping. We're gonna head on over to our hotel and get checked in. We're at tonight's stop then, Quail Lodge. If you watch my videos from summer, I was out here during car week, an absolutely amazing show here, so I figured I had to come and stay at the hotel when I was here last time. It's so busy when car week's going on on Pebble Beach and all of that, that you have no chance of getting a room somewhere nice. So we're in one of the villas at Quail Lodge. We've got the sort of patio out here. Walk in here, I've left the door on the latch so we can get in. And inside, living room. I probably shouldn't leave that locked. We've got a nice TV, fireplace. Mishmi's having a play with a... <laughs> little gift. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty cool uh, hotel room. Bit different, not always into uh, showing off the hotel rooms, but when you stay somewhere nice, I think it's worth, worth it. Walk-in bath shower, cool. Anyway, yeah, like I said, been a uh, pretty good day. Today, pretty good drive. Um, took us about seven or eight hours and then we bumped into all of those AMG GTs. But for us now, pretty much off for dinner. Get ready tomorrow for uh, the Land Rover Experience Center, which is based right here at Quail Lodge. And I think that's gonna be a pretty fun day. So looking forward to everything that it holds. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, follow the rest of this California adventure. And I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers. <laughs>